one nation under God. To many school children, the words are second nature. It's wrong. But to these kids, saying the pledge is a dream come true. I was like, oh my gosh, today is the day I've been waiting it for my, like, I've been waiting for that my whole life. Ten-year-old Fiona Cambo and her little brother Kevin were among the children becoming naturalized U.S. citizens today in Tampa. There is a lot of people. Cuba. 57 children to be exact. Jordan. Hailing from 20 different countries around the world. Lebanon. Fiona's family is from Albania. It was my dream when I was a teenager. So I grew up with that dream. So I wanted my children to be part of this nation. Our kids are growing up in the, the beautiful place and the perfect place. And this place is dream for too many people in all the world. Technically, the children at today's ceremony actually became U.S. citizens when their parents became naturalized or if they were adopted by Americans. In Fiona's case, her parents studied hard. The Plum Elementary student making sure her parents passed their citizenship test with flying colors. Yeah, I quizzed them. Oh, yeah. It took patience and perseverance for these 57 families to reach this day for their kids. And while it's just a piece of paper, it means limitless opportunities to these new young Americans and their proud parents. Because they wanted this so much and they, really, they finally reached their goal, so it's a big deal for them and for me too. In Tampa, Anjali Davis, Fox 13 News.